All right, guys. Well, here's the big reason why we're all here. This right here is the first T-Jet converted 500T in America. Now, as you can see right here, we don't have a vacuum pump on the back side of the engine. It's still got one cam gear, which if I can get the camera in there, you can see. But generally, the whole bottom end of the vehicle is the same. You know, you got your same forge pistons, you got your same forge crank. Everything on the bottom is pretty much Fiat 500, Fiat 500T, a Barth. All of it's the same. The same 1.4 liter, same transmission, same everything. The cylinder head, on the other hand, is a twin cam cylinder head with a single overhead cam camshaft and cam gear so basically what you have is the exhaust cam being run by the cam gear and then you have the intake cam tagging along but the whole car has to be completely redone now he's got the exhaust wrap on the back side of the turbo and this is actually what our turbochargers look pretty much naked. He's got a Forge, or I believe TurboSmart, actually has a TurboSmart wastegate, a couple of other TurboSmart accessories. But unfortunately, this car had a, you know, kissing match with a raccoon. And that's okay because Eric is planning to get a Series 4 bumper like Mouse Ball over there. But... As you can see, you have a much smaller computer. Now he's mounted it on top of the battery and they've already got all of the BCM and the TCM controls working with the brand new T-Jet upgrade. And that's what's really important is that this is going to be a daily driven, almost 300 plus horse car. And we're talking about almost 350 horsepower now He's not running full boost. He's not running a full tune. He's not running a whole bunch of things because he wants to make sure that everything works on a daily basis with the streamlined tune that it already has. And then what you do is you just incrementally build up. You incrementally build up until you get everything where you want it. And at that point, you can make more power and make it more reliably, which is the whole point of building these cars is to have them operate with big power and not break because obviously the stigma is you know fix it again tony you know fiats have bad um, reliability x x and o you know just the same old stuff coming from people in car culture who don't really know a whole lot about these cars so to prove that you can have a 350 plus horsepower car one this small and one that accelerates this fast well it won't break it can go from here to west palm here to daytona here to orlando wherever you need to take it the car will make that trip and make it reliably without even having a hiccup so that's what eric has planned and obviously eric has a youtube channel and if you'd like to subscribe and go to his youtube channel and see what he's got going on there that'll be fantastic because he does a lot of fiat content if you're interested but regardless at the end of the day this is an official t-jet swap and it's one that eric did all by himself late nights in di course putting it together while robert was doing other things so that's how these cars come about they come about from the long arduous hours of toiling in the garage trying to make sure that you get every last thing to work and to work reliably but right here this is his girlfriend's car black cherry and it's got some new upgrades as well got brand new wheels it's got the drilled and slotted brakes actually just drill brakes regardless she's got slotted brakes on the back there we go so i was correct and she's got a red carbon fiber tip and this has always been my favorite one out of the whole group. And this is her father, Daniel's car. He's probably done some new stuff to it, but always clean, looking great as always. And obviously there's Carl's car. And then we have 
El Blanco Diablo with the new hood that I just finished for his car and Dino's car that you guys saw in the previous video at Miami Cars and Coffee. But that's one of the big reasons why we're here in the first place because Magic's going to be here all the way from Italy. They're going to do a presentation. We're going to have a, a great lunch and we have literal race cars here. I mean, just look at this thing. It's as clapped out as you can possibly get. And I mean, you know, who would expect these cars to be producing these kinds of numbers to be practical race cars? I mean, it just shows that if you have the desire, the dedication and the need for speed <laughs> in this particular instance, well, just about anything can be fast. Just about anything can be a race car and just about anything can look as good as Emily's car. Because, like I said, Emily's car is by far my favorite Fiat 500 and one that I'm pretty much building Merrill after, you know, but not with the black and red anodized, more on the baby blue side of things. But Carl being new to the group and this is his first DI course event. And I mean, his car right from the jump is all specked out with the red leather, the red armrest. I mean, his is just basically a fully clapped out Abarth right from the factory. I mean, obviously it's a little worn, but I mean, most of these cars used are worn out and they just need some work. But Mouse Ball, obviously the boss, you know, she has to have everything look as close to perfect as possible, you know, because that's how she is. That's how Mama Mouse is. She's all about perfection or at least in the pursuit of it like Lexus but nevertheless guys did a nice little once over on Oblanco Diablo got the car clayed got it nice and clean and I mean it's never looked cleaner so the whole idea is to actually get that hood to be on the side of that car you know we want to get those graphics to go all the way across the side of the car the back of the car and the roof of the car and I'm hoping that we can get all of that done just in time for 2024. So that's our goal for 2023 is to put together these cars and get them to look as nice as we can possibly get them. Plus, not to mention that Mouse Ball will be getting a brand new wing that Mama Mouse and I are actually constructing ourselves. So it's going to be a wing unlike anybody's ever seen. And best of all, you can't buy it nowhere because it's handmade. So guys, I'll get back to you in another one when magic shows up and it's going to be a hell of a great time.